Good morning everyone and welcome back to Longcomer Farm. The weather has definitely changed. Only a couple of weeks ago, it was really hot. It's beautiful though. Takes ready to get out and about. So uh Oh, I'm trailing that. Um, how am I doing? I'm all right. Uh, I think most of my eyesight has come back in my left eye. I'll get it checked. For those of you that don't know, I was in hospital for five days last week. With um, I'd lost the sight in one eye, in my left eye. Um, had uh, inflammation of the brain and the optic nerve. But uh, we're off for an eye test very, very early on Monday. We've got to be there for half eight, which means we've got to be up here, out of here, um, by half seven, probably. So we need to get you sorted out first, don't we, before we leave? Yeah. So there, the weather's changed. It's wet. Yes. The llamas have been out in this for the last two days. They just don't. Have, they've started to come in. Um, yesterday they decided to come in for a bit. Um, but they've been out in it. They don't care. Jake here. Come back. Good boy. Up here. Wait, stay there, who's in? There's Albie, looking very green. I'm rolling around in stuff. Casper, there's a patch in there. So, Jake, please. So what we're doing today, the main job for me today, is, Casper's gone up get this bedded out for them now. Morning LB. Now they're coming in. We'll put some straw in there. Up Jake. Jake. Here. It's not that... Well, uh, I'm just a bit weary because um, I know Llamas have a good stamp. Joe, we're going this one. I'm going this one. I know llamas can stamp and kick exceeding hard and they keep up in here. And once they get going on an animal, they can continue until it's finished off. And in fact, Albie, in a previous video, I think I mentioned ages ago, um, I was walking with Jake in the field and Albie was to the side of us and this little shrew went running across in front of me and Jake, and in front of Albie, and in one swipe, he brought his foot down on it, killed it instantly. No, it's just a shrew, just running in front. Scared him, I don't know. Didn't like it, bang, and it was dead. So I'm just concerned. Well, where's your ball? I'm just concerned about him, especially sometimes they may be very intelligent creatures, but they don't always realize that he's there until he's on top of them because they're too intent eating and they'll suddenly jump. Um, yeah, so I don't let them around too much. It's just not worth it really. You can think, you can never predict an animal can you? You can think, yeah, come here, away from Philippe, especially, especially Philippe. Here, you think you know an animal and then you can drop it. You know an animal and then something can happen out of the ordinary so it's safer just to keep out of the way isn't it right and the coffee now it's time to go and get the uh, llama straw in start of the winter season Jake's coming to help I'll get rid of him he just runs up and down here with his uh, 
problem with his back legs. It's uh, it's not good for you to be run up and down concrete, is it? So we'll have a look. Let's have a look. Who's in? Is anyone in? I don't think anyone's in. No. No. No one in. Got some stuff to muck out there. Need to go and turn the electric on. Look at that face. Go on, let's go and get the electric turned on. Open this. Some light and air in. That's a bit stinky. I'm going to do this as usual, as everyone says, do it one-handed. It's not always easy. There we go. That's it. That's all right. Well, since I turned the, uh, the water misters off, once it calmed down with the temperatures, um, I, haven't touched, I haven't touched this stable at all. Um, I've kept it really loose so it's nice and cool for them to come in um, out of the sun. They've got no insulation under them, it's just concrete so they could sit down in an evening and cool down. Obviously now everything's changed. So um, yeah, I haven't mucked them out in a month or so really and here they've been going out there to go to the toilet. But uh, first lot last night. Here we go. These uh, mop up this wee, the wee is just spread all the way down there. Try and pack it up. Right, that's done. It's a bit wet. I tried to soak up as much as I can with the dust that's on the floor, but uh, that's no problem. That's all clean. Now I'll go and uh, open the straw up. this up already haven't I? Okay. So now we get this uh, hanging out straw from a good friend of ours is a um, cattle farmer. Um, he was really kind when I was in hospital he, he offered even though he knows nothing about llamas 
um, he did offer to come and help Kerry if uh, she needed any help moving or doing something with uh, with the lawns. So that was very kind of him. So yeah, there it is. I'm going to get a wheelbarrow and then we'll start filling up the uh, filling up the stable. Be careful because I've got pallets. Hello. Have to be careful because I've got pallets all under here. Um, and these ones are quite close together, but there are a few I've got that I use that have got quite wide gaps between the wood, so it can be a bit of a danger. I think this straw's this straw actually is quite old, it's got a musky, musky sort of smell to it, it's not fresh but it's more than good, it's not mouldy or anything, it's just old. Uh, it'll be in to see what's what when I'm done, that's it, it's all covered. raining a bit. Uh, I'll be looking in. What's that then? Quick sweep up and then a cup of coffee. Okay then, that's done. Used a bit of it. I'm going to start using it every day of course. I think we've got another two. I've got another two on order, sort of on hold, but I'll be able to get as much as I want to really. Won't be a problem. 
Um, the one thing I've realised last year is that you'd think there'd be lots of mice down here, and there isn't. Um, I used to see mice running everywhere, there'd be, you'd see them underneath the tarpaulin playing around, but um, we've got a little feral black cat that lives here. Uh, scared witless of us and Jake especially in the night him charging around the garden Jake charges after him um, but he's a tomcat and you have to put up with all the things that come with a tomcat like the odour and of course the mess I try and clear up the mess as I find it uh, but he's really doing a good job keeping these the mice down in here uh, and no doubt the moles in the fields as well um, and he's also keeping other cats at bay which we had a big problem with over the last few years. We'd have uh, little families of cats turn up or we'd have a female cat turn up pregnant and give birth in the straw here, which obviously isn't ideal. Um, it's difficult to find a refuge to take cats to because obviously, like everywhere, yeah, everywhere's inundated with cats. Um, we actually managed to rehome a little kitten that turned up, come plodding across the garden to me one day tiny little thing um, and Jake you can't have him with Jake it's just impossible so he stayed outside it was winter but we kept him warm in the stable kept him fed and we actually managed to rehome him a friend of ours took him back for their son in Derby so he uh, had his own little pet passport he tootled off home and they even stopped off at um, a pet friendly uh, motel halfway and there's a nice, lovely photograph of him sat on the bed. Uh, he's got his litter box and, a tr and I think he got he got a cage to be in and that. It's all it's all perfectly clean and that. But there's this photograph of him sat on the bed, uh, midway back to Derby. So he's more than happy. Although he would have really loved to have been a farm cat, the way that he uh, loved being around the animals. But hey, there we go. So that's that. I'm saying I'm off for a coffee, and then I'll do a bit of tidying up.